Today we're making Pikachu from Pokemon. I love this cake. He looks so cute. I was really scared that this wasn't going to come out the way that I wanted it to and it was going to look like a generic third party Pikachu-ish looking sort of cake. But that's him. That is him. I'm proud I was able to accomplish this cake so let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do to create this cake is create Pikachu's head. And to create his head, I'm using two six inch dome cakes. I didn't bake the full dome cake because I knew I was gonna cut away a lot of it. And I'm using two vanilla cakes. One is red and the other one's supposed to be white because Pokeballs, that's why. I'm just taking the first layer, I'm adding in some buttercream and then sandwiching it in between the second layer. This was supposed to be a white cake, but I forgot to take out the egg yolks when I was mixing the batter, so that's why it's kind of yellow. I'm using a template that I created to carve away the shape of Pikachu. I started with a dome mold for the head, and even though I cut a lot of cake away, it still helped because at least I know that the bottom and the top are rounded well. Now for this cake, I'm going to hot glue gun two pieces of cardboard and a dowel into the middle of my cake board. I just want to make sure that it's stable and it's not like wobbling like all of my other cakes. That R2D2 cake, it was shaking a lot. I'm adding some buttercream onto my cake board and then placing on a very thick six inch red vanilla cake. I added some more buttercream and then added a four inch vanilla cake to the top of that. And then using my knife to carve away at the bottom and start to shape Pikachu's body. I'm gonna add some buttercream to the top and then place on Pikachu's head. And then I just started to carve away at it some more. Now the Pikachu I'm creating is a Pokemon Art Academy Pikachu. It's a much simpler version of Pikachu, but it's just as cute. I started it with a larger knife and then I just moved on to my small Ikea knife. I just wanted to make sure that I could get everything as rounded as possible and that I was getting the shape that I wanted. Once I was finished carving, I just gave my cake a crumb coat. It's such a funny shape, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, it reminds me of... I don't want to get into it, so it reminds me of something. Alright? <laughs> now while my cake was chilling in the fridge, I was watching some Netflix. I was watching this documentary called The Truth About Alcohol. I thought it was really interesting and really educational. They they debunk a lot of myths about alcohol, they give you a lot of facts, and you just get to see how people experience liquor. Oh, I loved it. And I thought it was funny because it's about drinking and the guy who's taking you on the journey is like this tall glass of water. <laughs> now after I gave it a crumb coat, I took it out of the fridge and gave it a complete coat of yellow buttercream. Now I usually don't give a complete second coat of buttercream because it gets expensive. And also, I don't really like that much sweetness. But originally, this was just supposed to be a buttercream Pikachu. No fondant whatsoever. I thought it was gonna be like artsy. Cover it in like yellow buttercream and then paint on all of his features. But then I got scared. <laughs> I'm just using an offset spatula to add my coat. And then I placed it back into the fridge probably for like another hour. I needed the buttercream to set up some more so that it would be easier to shape. Then using my offset spatula, I just started to carve away my buttercream shape. Man, I blinked. I got scared and I was like, you know what? I don't want to have to mess with icing, so I'm just going to cover this with fondant, do all the features of fondant. It'll be cute, it'll be simple, no worry. Once I was happy with my buttercream, on went a very large piece of yellow fondant. Now I decided to cover my cake in two pieces of fondant. So using my fingertips, I just wrapped my fondant around the head and just cut away the excess using a paring knife. On went my second piece of fondant to cover his body. And I'm wrapping this from front to back so I can place the seam at the back of the cake. 
It'll be covered by more of Pikachu's features like his tail and those two brown spots he has on his back. He's looking good, you guys. I'm so stoked that this turned out well because Pikachu is probably the most recognizable Pokemon and if you saw this, if I saw this and I didn't feel the joy and the excitement that pictures of Pikachu make me feel, if I didn't feel as excited as I did when I first saw Pokemon, then I would not have posted this cake. And using some fondant tools, I just created some shallow eye sockets for his eyes as well as gave his mouth some definition. That way when I started adding all of his features, they weren't just flat on top, they were actually like... depth. Now I'm adding two very small Pikachu feet made of fondant. Just stick them on the bottom using some magic sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce, you guys. Then, two fondant hands. They're so thick, but they're looking cute. And then I inserted both of Pikachu's ears. I wanted this cake to be bigger because it was my birthday cake. I mean, I had to make my own birthday cake. I felt like if somebody else made it, I would be disappointed. So I was like, you know what? Let me handle this. I was feeding like an entire party of people, but because Pikachu's ears are so high, I didn't have enough room in my fridge to fit a bigger cake. So that's why he's so small. Now to cover up my seams in the back, I'm adding two of Pikachu's brown spots and then a very thick Pikachu tail. Now to create this tail, I just used fondant and added some CMC so that it would get harder. Now I applied this to the back of Pikachu using vodka. You can't use water to apply this tail to the back of Pikachu. I know I've said I would never say vodka, I would just say magic sauce, but water will not work. Water doesn't evaporate as fast and you're gonna have to hold this tail to Pikachu's body so much longer and I already had to hold it a pretty long time with the vodka. If you don't want to use vodka, you can use crazy glue or Elmer's glue or sometimes laundry detergent works too. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Use duct tape. Duct tape bursts on everything. I hope somebody sends me a picture of a cake being held together with duct tape. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> now if you want to recreate this cake, all of the pictures I use are on my Facebook page. Make it for your son or your daughter. Make it for your self for your birthday party. And once I finished Pikachu's back, I turned him around and started adding all of his facial features. So first I'm adding in his fondant mouth pieces. And I made these a little bit longer just so that I could adjust the size with my X-Acto knife. And then I added his cute red Pikachu cheeks. And then those gorgeous eyeballs. And y'all know I'm gonna finish this off with what? Some of that coconut grass that I like so much. And voila, Pikachu is done. Pikachu is bae, man. Pikachu isn't my bae, he's Ash's bae. My bae is Bulbasaur. I don't know how I'm gonna make Bulbasaur yet, but he's coming. Now this Pikachu cake is ushering in a whole nother set of cakes. My confidence to build a character that's standing up is growing, man. Done Pikachu, I sketched out Charmander, Squirtle, Stitch, a polar bear, an owl, a sloth. There are so many animals that I sketched out because I want to do them, like standing up and doing things. So there's stuff coming. I need more hands and I need like a... a a traveling machine? What is it called? A time machine. So that I can just slow time down just a little bit. I can get all these cakes out. I'm curious, which Pokemon is your favorite? And which Pokemon cake do you think I should do next? I think I'm gonna be doing Zapdos. He's my favorite legendary bird. Is it a boy or a girl? And make sure you check out the rest of my Pokemon cakes. There's an entire playlist for you in case you're throwing a Pokemon themed party. Now this Pikachu cake is gonna show up again 
for Halloween and for Christmas because I figured this was the only time I was going to create a Pikachu cake and so I dressed him up. I gave him three costumes for Halloween and three Christmas outfits. <laughs> Yeah, I got too excited and I was like, let's just make him look cute for the holidays. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see all of my cakes as I create them. This one was created in October. <laughs> it's January, right? Or is it later? When is this being posted? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!